Hey everyone, it's um, once again feels like it's been ages since I last did a video and so I wanted to just quickly let you guys know what I've been using uh, mainly in terms of skincare because uh, I've had fantastic results from a few different items. Uh, so let's get right into it. A company that I came across kind of randomly is called um, Elemental Herbology and I went into a store called Space and K which is in the United Kingdom and I explained to the lady that I was having issues with dry skin and she then gave me this little sample of something called a facial cleansing balm uh, and on the back I then read, I, I explained to the lady that I wanted to go for something natural uh, using the least amount of chemicals because Space and K has uh, all sorts of different brands and so she went straight for Elemental Herbology. She gave me this little sample and on the back I can tell you, I won't read all the ingredients but uh, let's see, sesame seed oil, soybean oil, cocoa seed butter, candelilla wax, um, Arganea spinoza kernel oil, bitter orange peel, uh, strawberry, vitamin E, uh, lots of lots of good stuff. I'm gonna, it, it's all, it's all 100% natural. And so how they recommend using it is you take a tiny bit of this balm and the way that I can explain it is it's almost like, picture like a lip balm, like that's the consistency of this balm. You um, spread it all over your face uh, including on the eye area. I use it to remove all my makeup when I wear makeup and I then take a face cloth. I use a muslin cloth but you can take any face cloth and remove it and your skin feels amazing. First of all it doesn't dry you out. Um, this balm is good for hydrating and cleansing at the same time. It smells unbelievably good. Um, just want to check one thing. It doesn't mention that it has fragrance, so potentially there might be some essential oil blend, but in any case, it smells really good. Um, it's very natural, and so then I went and got the big, the big um, tube of it, and basically uh, it says for best results that you're supposed to follow with their cell plumping facial hydrator, which one day I definitely will try, but um, what I have been following it with is interestingly enough I have never tried uh, Origins and Origins has to be one of the first natural cosmetic brands to have come on the market I didn't do my proper research I probably should have researched how long ago they came onto the scene but they their premise is found their foundation of their whole skincare line definitely is to use as much plant extracts and as little chemicals as possible, which is not to say that they're chemical free or 100% natural. I know that they're not, but I um, was in a shop and um, I noticed there was like tons and tons of people surrounding Origins and there were plenty of other different counters that people could have been standing at. And the reason was because a new face serum had come out and people were lining up to get it. And um, so I then just decided to take a look at what kind of products they uh, offer and they're, um, they gave me some samples because usually I won't buy face products without sampling first and I have found my new favorite night cream um, but actually well yeah so the night cream uh, that I'll introduce is called high potency nitamins um, which is a mineral enriched moisture cream again I explained to the lady that I was feeling extremely dry and um, basically it says that it's newly formulated with extra vitamins including B complex, C, E and also A, extra minerals and an exfoliating extract um, all in this mega moisture cream fortifies skin's own nocturnal nature to help it repair damage done by day and re um, rebuild itself to face tomorrow. Makes your skin, it's a skin brightener, it's a skin healer, it, um, like they say, is packed with nutrients, and so this is what the packaging looks like, and 
it smells citrusy to me and I am pretty much obsessed with the way this has made my skin feel since I started using it. I've probably used it for a good three to four weeks, right? And um, I'll explain to you why I've used it more than probably what I... I've used more of it than what I should have at this point. I can't really see, but it's probably halfway done. And so I bought that as my night cream because I explained that I had very dry skin. And then the lady suggested that I get something called um, a perfect world for my day cream, which looks like this, which I've heard about. And uh, I specifically wanted a SPF free day cream and ended up coming home with this, which has SPF 25. And it's called their Age Defense Moisturizer with White Tea. And let's go over some of the ingredients in this. So there is... Bitter orange flower water, chamomile, um, there's spearmint leaf oil, there's aris root extract, there's rose extract, there's white tea leaf, there's shea butter, all sorts of things. This cream, um, I haven't properly given it a fair chance but just because I used it a couple times before I realized she gave me the one with SPF 25. Once I realized that it has SPF, um, I just have been using the vitamins during the day because I'm hoping to return that, if at all possible. And uh, the only thing about using the vitamins during the day, obviously, is that your skin's not resting, and um, so it doesn't have time to kind of uh, absorb all the vitamins the way that it should. But I'm so into this cream that I have been using it during the day and might even repurchase it to be using it during the day, unless unless I do more research that says that it's not really doing that much for me during the day. And then the last thing I got was uh, this ginseng refreshing eye cream to brighten and depuff. And the reason why I got it was because at the counter they had a statistic, something like 88% of people who have tried it have noticed results. So I have dark circles um, and I am puffy occasionally. And I'm not that happy with this. Not because, um, not because I haven't noticed a difference in my dark circles or my puffiness, because I, I haven't, but the re real reason why, because I haven't used it that much, I'm not that happy with it, is because I feel like it dries out my un under my eyes, and obviously that's not a good thing. Um, let me go over a couple of the ingredients. Um, myrtle leaf water, chamomile flower water, chestnut seed extract, green tea, apple, magnolia, on and on and on and on. And so my disclaimer with um, Origins as a, as a skincare brand is that it is not, as I said before, 100% natural, but there certainly are um, good things that they, that they put into their products and also um, they formulate their products without parabens, flatlets, propylene glycol, mineral oil, PABA, petroleum, paraffin, DEA, synthetic colors, synthetic fragrance, and most importantly to me, they do not test on animals. So while they aren't 100% natural, they um, definitely stand for the natural, um, let's say the natural category or the the natural sort of um, focus and so for me um, it's worked fantastically well and so therefore I'm happy and then lastly um, two chapsticks I'm obsessed with one I can't find it is from Neil's Yard Remedy it's possibly the best chapstick I've ever used in my entire life and it has the best consistency I can't find it and I was in a pharmacy and um, bought this Caudalie. Uh, it's a French brand chapstick. Very nice as well. Great texture, great everything. Um, but if you can get your hands on the Neil's Yard Remedy purple chapstick, go for it because it's lovely. Uh, see you all soon and thanks for all the nice comments. Bye.